the royal champion, the brand new hero at Town Hall 13 in Clash of Clans. Let's attack versus every defense. Hey guys, what is up? Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. I hope you're having a good one. Let's start out with the Giga Inferno, the Town Hall itself. We'll attack level 1 and level 5, the lowest and the highest, but we'll not bother with the ones in between. So the remember, the Royal Champion only attacks defences, so we had to activate the Town Hall. We've actually reduced the health because of the Earthquake, but I don't think it's going to matter. The level 1 on Giga Inferno falling very easily to the Royal Champion. We've quickly gone and upgraded the Giga Inferno to the max level five. You can see the Roman numeral on the side of the building indicates what level the town hall is now if you are new here to the channel we do daily educational but entertaining clash of clans videos so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out now let's go ahead and see whether the royal champion can take down the maxed level giga inferno it does 50 percent more damage and it also has the healing effect or the freezing effect sorry healing effect wouldn't be very good on the blow but it is going to be out of the way of the royal champion i wonder what would happen if that earthquake wasn't there before we move on to the next defense i want to very quickly test out that theory because i do think if the giga inferno hadn't taken 25 percent damage from the earthquake then the royal champion might not have taken it out let's let all of the builders and villagers get in there before this thing comes crashing down onto their heads so the royal champion gets to work this is a neck and neck battle with the ability the royal champion might get through but if it was a one-on-one -on -one and the ability was not used then it would not have taken it down one ping with the shield and down it goes the second defense we will attack is the Archer Towers. Very versatile. I've set up a little bit of a base here. I've made sure that the Archer Towers at the back are not within range of the first one. So you can see the Royal Champion in isolation. But then with the ability, you can see it ping through all of the other Archer Towers. There it goes. Just amazing to watch. The cannon is a defense that we've also had from very early on in the game, but the Archer Towers did not get an upgrade at Town Hall 13. The cannons, they did. So notice they fit in with the Town Hall 13 theme, which is Ice and Dark Elixir. Light blue and black. I really like the theme, but let me know what you think in the comments. The Royal Champion getting to work on the cannons, taking a lot of damage. And with the ability, it does take them out in one shot, just like the Archer Towers. The Eagle Artillery, a very strong defense. I have already activated it. It did get an upgrade at Town Hall 13. Now, this is difficult to show with the Royal Champion. I could put storages here, take out all of the other defenses. But remember, it's a defense targeting troop. So it would just run across to the Eagle, get within its range, and you wouldn't see anything. So I'm going to place the hero down, allow the Eagle to target. Then I'll press the ability, ping through these defenses. There we go. And you can see the damage. Damage it does onto the hero manages to survive through a single fire of the eagle and once it's within its range you can now see how many shots it takes to take it out not too many to be honest it is a decent hero in terms of damage let's move to the next defense Whenever I do these styles of videos attacking all of the defenses, I always like to see the expo. Remember, I did a video with the Yeti as well, very similar, did the exact same thing just so you could see the Yeti in action, and I'll link that at the end of this one. It will be in the pinned comments, like I said. A little bit more difficult to get the three expos out of range, but we managed to get it done. So, Royal Champion comes in takes out the first expo relatively easily the three of them will shred her but we've got that automatic ability will it take out an expo no does not automatically take out an expo she gets the second but it got the expo down to i think it was about half health after the ability she managed to get one more swipe on the north expo but the ability will not one shot an expo 
For this one, I decided to combine three different defenses, because let's be real here, the Wizard Tower Mortar and the Bomb Tower aren't really going to do too much damage to the Royal Champion, but you want to know how many shots it takes to take that defense out, and whether the Seeking Shield ability can one-shot the defense. By the way, the Wizard Tower did get an upgrade, whereas the Mortar and the Bomb Tower did not for Town Hall 13. Mortar and Wizard Tower didn't really do too much damage, couple of shots for the Wizard Tower 2 for the Mortar. Seeking Shield can take out the Mortar in one shot, the Bomb Tower in one shot, but not the Wizard Tower. Bomb Tower then goes down relatively easily to the Royal Champion. Now you don't really need to know if the Royal Champion can get through the air defense and the air sweepers, they're not going to fight back, but you do need to know if the Seeking Shield can one-shot the defense. By the way guys, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave me a like, it really does help out the channel a lot. Two shots for the air sweeper. It looks like it's going to be three for the air defense. Let's let... Actually, let's just use that shield. Through one, two, three. Yeah, all, all of them one-shotted. Nice and easy. Down they go. An empty base? No, guys. We're going to attack the Tesla. So let's activate all of them first. They shred the barbarian. I'm pretty sure that the Royal Champion is going to do well against them, and it should be able to one-shot them as well. They're very low in health, so there you go. It gets through them relatively easily. Let's pop the shield straight through them, guys. That was pretty quick as well. Just bounced right through all of the Tesla. The Inferno Towers are difficult for any troop. I have the multi followed by the single, and then we have another multi to see if the Seeking Shield can one-shot it. So I think we should be good through the first multi. Not really going to take much damage. The single will then take the hero down, and let's see if the Seeking Shield gets through the far multi. So single locks on. I've got the automatic ability. As she goes down, she didn't get the Seeking Shield off in time because the multi was still on her. That's what I was talking about in my video where I did an automatic hero ability challenge. If the damage happens too quick and they're still taking damage, you might not get that ability off. So sometimes the automatic ability can be a disadvantage. Let's come back again and we'll see if the Seeking Shield can get it done. So I think we might just press the ability as soon as I put the hero in. Let's go for it. Hero in, ability pressed. Oh, it didn't get through them, but it got hard, over 50% damage onto the Infernos. She did. She got through the single. She got through all of the Infernos with that ability. Just proving the early popping of the ability. Wow, that was incredible. Saving the best until last, the new defense, the Scatter Shot. This does a tremendous amount of damage. It is splash damage though, and it does attack ground and air. I've positioned them slightly apart again so we can see the Seeking Shield, and if it one-shots it, Scatter Shot gets to work. Does do a good amount of damage for a single strike, but the splash is where it really takes effect. As we come through, we can use that ability, gets it to about 50% health, so a good strike strategy might be to use your royal champion in a sui method to take out the scatter shot by herself. The cool thing about the royal champion is although it is a defense targeting hero, it will fight back if it starts taking damage, unlike defense targeting troops. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave me a like. It really does help things out massively. But the Barbarian King is going to get significant damage. The ability is automatically popped. The shield, though, did not attack the hero. And unfortunately, the Royal Champion goes down to the level 70 Barbarian King. Versus the Archer Queen, I think it might be even worse for the Royal Champion. It is a female hero battle. The Queen gets to work and unfortunately is going to wipe out the Royal Champion relatively quickly, but... That was a super close battle. I thought it would have been a whitewash for the Queen, but... Not quite. She very nearly went down. The Grand Warden on defense, which... 
turns into a defense anyway, so we don't really need the air defense there because the Royal Champion automatically targeted it as you've seen goes down very easily and now we just have the royal champion versus the royal champion here we are the final one of the video let's go ahead and pop the royal champion in i've got a feeling that offense and defense because the defense gets the first shot she will start to take advantage but then with the ability oh the shield did not go to the royal champion but just nicked the victory if you do want to see the video where we did the yeti versus every single defense the brand new troop i've linked it on your screen it's right there guys you will enjoy that one but if not that wraps it up enjoy the rest of your day until next time peace out